I got started farming with my family farm. I'm a fourth generation farmer. I farm now with my uncle and my dad. Uh, I'm Jake Barcells from Los Banos, California, a local farmer. We ended up buying a field one day and it had asparagus in it. So we kept it in there and that's how we got into it. Once upon a time, California acreage, depending upon who your doctor, was 40 to 60,000 acres a year. And now that number is almost down to about 600 acres a year. Asparagus is, is quite a uh, labor-intensive crop. It, it takes a lot of labor to pick it and pack it. You're bent over all day in the sun. If it's raining, that asparagus needs to get cut every day. The labor challenge fundamentally is about availability of labor. Most people don't want to go into agriculture. The labor force is getting older. Uh, the people that come to us from different countries, uh, the economic conditions are changing in their uh, countries. And then in places like California, the cost of labor is going up dramatically. We have just gone through three years of minimum wage increases, and we're going to go through three more years of increases. Last year, our overtime began after 10 hours. This year, it's at nine and a half hours. So in about three years, our overtime is, is going to start after 40 hours. Either we're going to pay more overtime, or we're going to have to find ways to get our work done in less time. There's not a corresponding increase in what you know a, a grower receives um, from the marketplace. What we're really trying to do is innovate, you know, in these spaces, bring new technologies to bear to try to you know reduce the costs, reduce our environmental footprint, produce more, you know, using fewer inputs. I found out about the asparagus harvester from the California Asparagus Commission. They were looking for someone that would let these guys from YKO come down and test the harvester. So I was definitely open to trying to get some kind of mechanization out there and see what they could do. So the asparagus harvester is an interesting problem, global problem. It's one of the hardest crops to um, automate. We've been working away steadily with a team over at Waikato with input from um, Alistair Scarf on the technical side to develop a proof of concept machine that could identify a, some asparagus that is harvestable and locate it so that we could send a robotic cutter to that position. To do that required a lot of computer vision, special sensors using like time of flight cameras, a whole range of algorithms that were developed. The next part of that then was actually then to, to look at getting cutters to those locations and actually can you cut the asparagus and we think we've achieved that. Well I think New Zealand is really the example of industry education and uh, government cooperation. The triangle is that you have a need from a grower, you have uh, a research organisation like Waikato who can look at is it feasible to do this and then you need a commercial partner who can turn that into a reality. And so the triangle was completed with Robotics Plus. To solve some of these challenges we're not going to be able to all do this alone. So being able to leverage each other's abilities and where our key skill sets are is going to be I think how we actually get some real meaningful runs on the board in the agri-tech sector. I think there's a lot to be learned you know, from the level of interaction that's going on in the agricultural and technology and government arena in New Zealand. Automation, harvesting, and asparagus would change the whole game. I believe that there's still uh, a bright future for agriculture, but we have to be able to grow these products economically and profitably. What Robotics Plus has built stand to provide a very good opportunity for the remaining asparagus growers to have a chance to, to solve the cost problem on labor. So I know I'm personally quite excited to get Robotics Plus to the market as, as soon as possible. I find it pretty amazing that a college from New Zealand can come all the way out here to California to try to help us with asparagus harvest. And I think it's good for all of ag for everybody to kind of come together and work together for the uh, for the greater good.